Hello all, and welcome back to Kudeos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of Morrowind as the Khajiit Thief Drolin. In the last video, there was a rather long uh, exposition dump via text um, about the various views on the battle at Red Mountain and the subsequent creation of the Tribunal and conflict with Dagoth Ur. The short version is that the way of defeating Dagoth Ur is to um, disrupt the connection to uh, Lorcan's heart, uh, which requires Kagrenak's tools, which are a hammer, the name of which I've forgotten, and a sunder. sunder. Yes, the hammer sunder and the blade keening. And so there's two possibilities. I am supposed to go up to Ghost Gate. And from Ghostgate, I am to um, consult with the Ordinators and Buoyant Armagers and determine the, oh, uh, find out what they will, like what the current state of things in Red Mountain are. Um, however, I'm not sure if that means I'm going to have additional uh, sortie quests in, you know, just run in, kill a bunch of stuff type thing, or if I can just go straight to Orgesol and Veminol and get Keening and Sunder. Um, Vivek did give me... the name of the thing was what? Um, Wraithguard, there we go. Um, and the stats on... so Wraithguard is supposed to protect against um, the the negative effects of Keening and Sunder. Um, if you equip them and use them, they will slowly drain your health is kind of what it sounded like. So basically you get shield 10 points on self, reflect 20% on self, resist blight disease, which you don't need because you're immune because you have corpus disease. But maybe when you break the, uh, the heart's magic, maybe that goes away, I don't know. Resist Magicka, Resist Poison, a whole lot of resistances as well, and then Reflect 20% on self. Um, it is Heavy Armor, unfortunately, which I haven't been trying to use, but I'm tempted to, because it just, it's it's a single glove, because it replaced my right gauntlet. So it's kind of tempting to just run around with it. The reason not to, though, is what they said is if you pick up um, a fake version of, of keening or sunder you won't take any damage it's only the real keening and sunder that will cause you um ongoing life drain and so you can use that as a test for the true ones and then then i could equip the um wraith guard to defend against that effect so i may keep it um, off just so that I can verify when I do in fact find the real deal and then put it on when I have done so. Or you can just not use it so then you can die from picking up Sunder. Not use it so I can die? Yeah, yeah. So pick them up and then not put it on? Yeah, yeah. well you pick them up, equip them, you know, whatever mm -hmm. and then just not use Wraith Guard so you die from picking up Sunder. I don't like that idea. No, oh, well, well, I mean, it is a possibility. <laughs> and knowing me, I might do that and completely forget I ever had Wraith Guard. Uh, but we will see. All right. I'll so try to remind you. <laughs> for now, oh, where do I want to go? Because I was expecting to be able to go to um, Aldrun, but I can't go to Aldrun via this thing. But I can go to Nar uh, Margon, I think. So do I go to Margon and try and just go straight to Veminol? I, I don't want to do that. I wanted to go to Ghostgate. So what I'll do instead is I will bounce through Balmora uh, to get to Aldrun, and then I will hoof it up to Ghostgate from Aldrun, and I'll come back in when I get to Ghostgate. All right, here we have a Ghostgate. Unfortunately, Vivek didn't give me any specific individuals I was supposed to talk to, so I don't know precisely who to look for, if there's anybody named, or if I can just talk to any ordinator. Usually these have been places where important people have been at the top of. Uh, so let's see here, you are 
Raylan Othrival. So let's see if you have anything useful to say. Hello, Drolin. The Arch Cannon has announced that Lord Vivek has selected you as a champion of the temple in the war against Dagothur in the Sixth House. It's very confusing, but we have faith in Lord Vivek, and we will pray for your quest. Can I help you? Are you looking for someone in particular? Do you need services? Is there some specific place you'd like to visit? Do you want to know about my trade? Um, I want to know. Oh, yeah, you don't have anything. Um, hmm. Uh, what about buoyant armagers? Tell me about that. Uh, the buoyant armagers serve the temple as champions and knights errant. Yeah, that wasn't helpful. How about, um, what about the Nereverine? We have heard the proclamation. Vivek has removed his curse upon the Nereverine and has ended the persecution of the dissident priests. Vivek has acknowledged you as the incarnate in Nereverine, the prophesied savior of Morrowind, and the last hope to withstand the menace of Dagothur in the Sixth House. So why don't you let me talk to you about Dagothur? Ugh. Crater Citadels. That sounds right. The only approach to the Crater Citadels is up Foyada Esanaden from Fort Moonmoth, through the ghost fence at the Fortress of Ghostgate, and down into the crater. That, that That's where I am. Like, all right, well, what do you say about Ghostgate? For centuries, ordinators and buoyant armagers, led by the tribunal, would pass through, would pass through Ghostgate on annual raids against Dagoth Ur's Ash Vampire Kin, but these raids were suspended because of heavy losses to the temple forces. Right, that makes sense. What do you say about ordinators? The Order of Doctrine and Ordination are militant scholars. Oh, well, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, yeah, you don't seem to have anything non-generic for me to ask about. So goodbye. Um, because I am trying to find somebody who can... Wait, wait, wait. Is that a... Nope, that's a bowl. I was going to say, was that a book? It was not a book. Uh, well, you look an individual. For, sure I don't know how to find it. Hello, Drolin, Archkin, and Noun. Someone in particular, you say the same stuff, which I suspect means you will give me the same... Yes, you give me the same data. So you're not actually helpful at that point. Um, you over here. Yep, same things. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. So I have been there. Switch to local map. That must be where I came in, because that goes to Ghost Gate. So, oh, that's the wrong way. This then goes up to the Ghost Gate Temple. We have a Laren, a Drothan, and that goes to the Tower of Dusk. You say, welcome, my child. Do you seek to join the temple? No, I don't. Um, do you have... No. You don't either. That would be requirement requirements to join the temple properly. Yep, never mind. Goodbye. Um, do you just say the same thing? Oh, hey, I can ask you about Amalexia ancestors. This might... Ooh, I can ask you about Dagothur. Um, you say the same thing introductory, but what do you say about Dagothur? Dagothur is the evil immortal enemy of the Tribunal Temple cult. The temple holds Dagothur and his hosts accountable for all the evils that beset the Dunmer and and Morrowind. Dagothur dwells in fiery cavern. Yeah, okay, so that's the same stuff. Like, I was supposed to find out that here was where stuff... What do you say about Vivek? Lord Vivek? Yeah, okay. Hmm. So they told me that this is where I was supposed to find um, people who... Whoops knew the comings and goings in recent you you're a buoyant armager you say same stuff that the other guy did but if I ask you about no and I can't ask you about Dagother you're not helpful what do you say about latest rumors have you noticed for all its proclamations about protecting the rights of property and preserving law and order the Imperial Legion does little enough to capture and pro prosecute abolitionists. That's a bit hypocritical, don't you think? Alright, so no, he doesn't... What about someone in particular? 
The Ordinator Grand Commander Raylan Othrival is in the Tower of Dawn. Yeah, I talked to him. He didn't help me. Buoyant Armager Grand Marshal Galdal Omain, Ordinator Knight Commander N.R. Draylor, and Nice Ramoran, Publican of the Radoran Hostel, are in the Tower of Dusk. Rilvase Avani is the Priest of the Temple. Okay, so I can try finding Gold Galdal Omain then. Maybe that individual has better information. Yes, yeah, not long ago. yeah, not surprising that Caldo Olmain is not behind the counter. What? You're just a buoyant armager. You're Draylin Lenim. You're Galdo. Whoa. Okay, then. All right, you say the same thing. All right, do you let me inside the ghost fence? All our intelligence is old. No one has ventured far inside the fence for years. This map shows the locations of the citadels of the various Ash Vampires. Sixth House creatures have become more numerous and powerful, and the most powerful can conjure powerful Daedra. Until recently, we've been able to clear roots and keep them clean with raids, but no longer. There are no safe refuges or surfaces inside the fence. You must return here to, to rest and heal. I was given a map of Red Mountain. What about services, just for fun? House Redoran maintains a hostel with beds, food, and sundries in the Tower of Dusk. Redoran also offers services here for retainers and kin. Temple has healers and other services in the Tower of Dawn. All right, then. Um, is there anything else worth... Doesn't look like it. So, we don't know. Go in, figure it out for yourself. Gotcha. With that, um, although she did give me a map, so it's probably a piece of paper... And map of Red Mountain. So let's see what that looks like. It looks like a list of places. That that's not a map. Is there a drawing? Oh, oh good. good. All right. So Vivek, Sadanine. That's not a map. Well. Wow. That's terrible. Uh -huh. I was expecting it to actually be a zoomed in on it. Whatever. Okay. So Citizel Vimenel is northwest, but I've already seen it on my map. Terrainalol is northeast, but Terrainalol wasn't mentioned. Dagoth is center, and Dusel is southwest, and Odrasol is southeast, and Ghostgate is south. Okay, that wasn't... You know, I think I'd start with Terrainalol because it's not listed, so it's probably a lesser... Because you know that the other things like Sender and stuff is at Ordrasol or something. So oh, and you, they did mention getting additional artifacts, didn't they? They did, and it can be a, this is not one of the things you have to get, but you can use it to judge whether or not you can actually do this. No, I expect that with your other experience, you're fine, but... No, but that's not a bad idea. Basically, a gear check. Right. And that's fine. Um, why can't I move? But you don't have... Oh, you do have gear in this game. Never mind. Um... What on earth? There we go. That was weird. Okay, who do we have here? Thales. What is it, Outlander? Why are you here? Glass left pauldron. Armor rating of 111. A pauldron is a glove. Armor rating of 67. So glass armor is light. It would be... Superior, are you... Yes, you do barter. Now the question is, do I want to barter? <laughs> or do I just want to be a thief? Um... Oh, glass jink blade. Hmm, it's very tempting to just be a thief. Does that make... You have a glass staff. Can we hurry this up? Ooh, mixed unit tactics does not give me anything. Okay, fine. Steel longsword. So you have lesser equipment. How can I be of service to you? Hmm. I probably cannot be sneaky enough with all these people. Well, well, maybe I can. Okay. Yay. Success. Mertis Philandis. And whoa, lock level 100. 
Okay. That's intriguing. Of course, you can't put a lock level 100 door and expect me to ignore it. You are a buoyant armager. Say what you want, okay. Amulet of Ushija. Frost damage on touch. Ebony staff. Ebony longsword. Chest. Glass storm sword. Poison sword. Why was this locked? I mean, sure, there's some cool stuff in here, but... Okay. Hmm. He is not a vendor. So apparently he's guarding... Uh-oh. Well, crap. And I didn't save it. And I thought I was being sneaky. <sighs> now, so long as I don't run into an ordinator, I should be okay. I'm going to stop trying to get myself in trouble, apparently. Go find the exit. And begin my journey into Ghost Fence. Or inside the Ghost Fence. Oh, right. I think I have to push that button. And I think it acts as a... No, it doesn't. Okay, I expected it to be a... Uh... What are those? Th oh, I have to do this one. Airlock. That's what I was expecting. So that it would close before it would let another one open. Alright. Um, so. And the one that you mentioned is probably on the way. No, no, it's up there. Well, that one is, but there was another one. It was one. Turinel, so it was the last one. It's in the... I don't even know how to describe this direction. Apparently I'm in battle. I should get a real weapon if I'm going to be in battle. Why am I in battle? Because you're past the ghost fence. Are there you... is nothing safe here. That would be crazy. Like, you can't even look at a map. Well, I guess I can go back out of the ghost fence then. See if that's the case. No. It just thinks I was in combat with something. There we go. Because there's one southwest, and Dusel. And Dusel is southwest. And that would be on the way potentially to Veminal. Oh, okay. So I'll try and go to Endusel. Ow. Try starting with Endusel, see what it looks like when I do. That can give me an idea of what I want to do with um, the other ones. Oh, maybe he's why I was in battle. It's possible. Okay. So, um... What I'll do then is I'm going to cut out. I'll come back in if I find a doosle or if I find something worth uh, paying attention to. All right, so I have found the door to a and I thought it might be Dagother, but it is not. Um, so, cool. And it is specifically into Kagrenak's study. I, I, My memory is Kagrenak's dead. He did not survive, and that... Um, so Kergrenach's study is just what it had been, but I could be wrong. Ooh, this guy's tough. Getting tr he's trying to cast something, but apparently I was- Hey! Oh, that's right, they turned to dust. And he has a Daedric staff, which I don't care about. Uh, alright, so I switch, switch to local map for exploring. Steel and iron door that leads to- I was not expecting to find other adventurers in here. I suppose... I mean, they have talked about people coming in, so maybe what I'm seeing is a buoyant armager. We'll see. I mean, I will certainly... I've been collecting Dwemer coins, but I don't think I want the weight. 
at this point because I haven't actually found anything to do with the coins. Um, yep, dead hero. Okay. Oh, wow, dude. Uh, potion of Reflection. I mean, I'll take it, but... And Restore Fatigue, neither of which are terribly useful. Raw Ebony, Ash Salts. Do I want to back up Wagazashi? And no, I don't. And yeah, and with that armor, I'm not surprised you didn't survive. The Chitin, uh... Dagoth Mendris. Okay. Because the Dagoths are just... It's like a title, I think. And he has one of the 6,000 amulets. Yeah. Um, ooh. Apprentice Armor's Hammer. Nice. And an exquisite belt. I don't care. Um, if I were doing enchanting, which I think there's enchanting, I just don't remember for sure. Uh, if I were doing enchanting, I'd probably care a little more. But since I'm not, I don't. All right. Is there? Well, there's another door. So I guess I just keep going and try and do a... an attempt at a full clear, at least. It might be difficult. It depends on how windy the patch it passages are. All right. You... You look different. Who are you? You're Dagoth Endus, huh? I don't remember seeing this individual before. Like that style of... He has an Amulet of Heart Rhyme, which does cast when used, fortify Magicka, Sanctuary 10, and fortify Conjuration. Meh, it's the first time I've seen one, I think. I'll take it, but I don't care about the Sixth House Amulets at this point. Oh, hey books. I like books. Silence. You have gained knowledge from this book. My illusion skill has increased to 83. Nice. Kagrenex Journal. Oh, I don't remember if I've seen Kagrenex Journal before, but the contents of this handwritten journal are in an unfamiliar script in an unknown language. There are many complex diagrams heavily annotated with numbers and strange symbols. The title page, however, is clearly marked in Eldamaris, Kagrenex Journals. All right. Uh, Journey Me is a Limbo, Master's Mortar and Pestle. What is my current mortal and pestle? Do I even have them on me? I don't. I think you need it because I think your mother master stuff got taken because it was stolen. Considered stolen? Yeah, probably. I don't expect this to count as stolen. No, I don't either. All right, so more papers and books. This is Dwemer Centurion plans, which I'll just take. A Nagasta Kavata Kavakis, which I already have. A Ghoul Heart, sure, why not? Special Flora of Tamriel. I don't remember if I have special flora of Tamriel, so I will take it. Oh, I missed a lot. Yeesh, dude, pay attention. Glass boots, armor rating of 111, weight of 3, condition, well, yeah. But armor rating of 111, I'm pretty sure I can't wear boots. <laughs> I of forgot course. I can't wear boots. So these can go back just onto the counter. Ebony broadsword, the firmament. I might already have a firmament, but... Old mode cuirass, don't care. Iron mace. Guarhide, I'll take just because I'm stealing everything. Exclusive fortify speed, don't really care. Definitely don't want the large wrapped corpus. But everything else, sure, why not? I'll take it. This is a Dwemer cabinet with a key. Oh, yeah. We're doing our stuff. Okay, so this is a dead end. Awesome. That means I can make my way back. Excuse me. Through this way. Um, and find out. I think there were multiple paths. And those look like they might be stairs. So I can probably... Yes, that's right. The door is straight ahead. So I can pick a path to go down. We'll see if it's a loop. I'm hoping so, because I would rather it be quicker than not. Alright, so there is an enemy on the other side of the door who keeps closing the door. There we go. Dagoth something or other, I missed the name, but that's fine, he's gonna die. 
He's one of the ones. I'm going to guess that these are the types that have increased their power such that they are better able to um, control themselves. It's just odd that that's what they choose to turn themselves into if they are. Bone meal and a wooden staff. It's just a skeletal corpse, not a dead adventurer or something. Okay. Um, so it looks like nothing special in here, and it does look like this is going to loop around. Now, I would have assumed that each of these would be the location of one of the, um, heart whites. And I actually wonder if the guy I killed that I said I hadn't seen that model before wasn't a heart white at that point. Um, was he in here? Or was he down below? But this is Endusol. And is there more to Endusol than just this is the other question. So he was here. So this is Dagoth Endus. Oh, okay, so yeah. Endusol, Dagoth Endus. So I would guess then that the answer is yes, this is one of the Heart Whites. Okay. Um... Yay, I killed one. Uh, at which point, I, I mean, I didn't get any... Oh! Is that what the... Oh, what was it? This thing. Is that what the amulet of heart rhyme was supposed to be? Is one of the... Um, artifacts I was supposed to get? Because that is a decent set of bonuses to get when cast when used. So, maybe? I mean, that would make sense. It's just, I don't know what I was expecting um, what do you call them to look like. Alright, so that then just is uh, probably, I'm gonna guess oh wow, it's not marked on the map though. And that makes me wonder if there's not somewhere else I need to be that would be better marked as See, that's looking at Dagother, I am pretty sure. I don't think I want to... Because Odrasol was one of them, right? Yep. And Odrasol seems kind of close. And I'm not seeing anything that would strike me as being a better entrance anywhere in here. I'm tempted to levitate my way over to Odrasol. Um, but I have started on this path. I will continue. I will make my way up to Veminol, and maybe what I'll do is make a circuit, do Veminol, come over to Terrain, the, ter yeah, that one, and then hit Odrasol last and make... Um, you know what? I'll just, I'll make this um, an end point for this video, and I'll just hit one of the, oh, what are these called? Citadels. One of the citadels per video, unless, I mean, unless uh, Veminol is ridiculously short. But with all of the reading and wandering and stuff I did, um, the trouble is I don't know how much travel time I had. So this may be a short video. I don't know. We'll see. For now, I'll call this good. Thanks, all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.